Daddy, we thank God for you. We, 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 <laughs> you are the Elijah of our time. What will my life have been without you? Oh, daddy, daddy. And when you see mommy, bless you. <laughs> because some of you, we are married to the man you will give anything to sleep with. So you hate us. Our husbands are your dream men. So you hate us. There's nothing we wear that fits us as far as you are concerned. When we sing, you will say, Z like, like, like crocodile. <laughs> when we preach, you are on Instagram. One of my books is titled, I am the pastor's wife. Four chapters. Chapter one, dear God. Chapter two, dear me. Chapter three, my dear husband. Chapter four, dear congregation member. That chapter four is the one I love most. Dear congregation member, I need to, I'm here to remind you that I am the pastor's wife. You may speak Queen's English while I speak Nigerian English. It does not matter. God did not choose you. He chose me. I am the pastor. You may have more money. You may know how to dress. You may be whatever. You may even be more beautiful. But I don't care. I am the one God chose. And for your information, dear congregation, it's in my Google. It's on Amazon. I told you I've published 106 books. That's one of them. It's my favorite book. In that book, that next paragraph, I said, I have decided if you like yourself, accept me. Because I've made up my mind that if you don't watch me on TV, you will hear me on radio. If you don't hear me on radio, you will read my books. If you don't read my books, you will smell my perfume. Where were you when I was managing with a man? Where were you when there was nothing? When I was pushing his car? Did the Bible not say that if I suffer with him, I will reign with him? If I'm riding his Range Rover now, shut up! If you don't move, I will push you with the Range Rover. Sit down, I will soon close. Where were you? When I was sweeping the church. Where were you when I was handing over my salary to your pastor? Where were you when I would tell my children to leave the bed for you? Because you came to the house, you were stranded. And I would have to explain to my children, this is the life of a pastor's child. Please understand. Where were you? And now God has lifted my husband. And the man has decided to give me a seat beside him in the ministry. And you are envious? You are a witch. 